what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel energy healing tarot one two three it's your girl and christian here to drop some jewels i got that monthly energy read for cancer all placements of cancer the general message guys may not resonate with everyone take what's for you leave the rest behind either way give the video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out hitting that bell button so you know when the videos drop leave your comments below let me know what's going on and if you want to know on those social media platforms go on and follow me over there if you are looking for a personal reading go ahead and look at that information in the detailed description box below yeah see <laughs> this whole intro had to like change up change up jazzy it's like there's somebody who is like, <laughs> who doesn't know what to say around you, Cancer, or maybe Cancers, this is you guys. But I feel the energy of a lot of you guys being very sassy type, you know, or like um, bratty-ish, not really yes or no. But um, I don't know, or it's like, a, I, it's, I want it, I got it, I want it, I got it. It's mine, um, you know, that type of thing. Give me one second, guys. Sorry about that, guys. But, yeah, like I was saying, it was about that whole, you know, like, I want it, I got it. Yeah, as I say that and we lose. The feminine wishes here, sacral. It's like you want it, you got it. You you feel very deserving, which ain't nothing wrong with that. Like um, wanting somebody to cater to you. <laughs> wanting somebody to cater to you. Somebody also could be doing the things that you really enjoy here, that you really like. But, I, yeah, that Eight of Swords won't leave. I feel like this person could feel defeated by you like that's what i'm saying like kind of like a sassy type of bratty-ish type of coach yeah we're ready let's see what do we got let's just dig into it and see what we got but that was a lot of some of the vibes and messages i was picking up so cancer under here abundance yeah like i said you guys you want it you got it like um this is kind of like a hit in the lottery type of feel um, but it's like you just worked hard for what it is that you have. And I just have a feeling of energies trying to tell you what it is that you need to be doing or how you need to be living or what you need to be dressing or, you know, um, some folks look like hating friends. Like, you know how you get the female, oh, girl, don't buy them shoes only because she want them shoes. And then she turn around and get them behind your back. But it, for you, it's like, okay, I'm going to buy these shoes and I'm going to buy the other shoes that you told me to get. I'm going to buy them both. Why? Because I can. And it's like, it's that kind of feel where folks are like, ugh, you know. But I just feel like you guys, you know, you're, I don't know. Let's see. It's. Purpose. Oh, we got two out here. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do. Yeah, like you guys, it's just, you guys know that you've worked hard and you you know what you're here for. Like, I'm. it's like Marshawn Lynch energy. Like, you know why I'm here. Like, like, you know what I'm here to do. Like, change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Yeah, like, it's a big change. You guys have done, like, a really big, big change, especially since you guys' birthday here, you know? But um, I just feel that some folks aren't really, um, ain't up on your change. Some people ain't feeling it. Some people feel like you being, like, bourgeoisie, but it's like, no, you just... You know your worth. You know yourself, okay? What you guys got under here? The abundance, again. Yes, like, I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Like, you guys have realized all this. You have come to terms with life, and you're just out here living. There's energies around you that some get it, some are uncomfortable with it, and some are, like, completely jealous and hated. Like, ugh, it's, it's weird. Either way, keep living. I mean, 
you happy you happy so this is you guys energy for the month of august this is what you guys know about that energy this is what the universe is trying to show you about that energy this is how we got here from the past something from the past and then we have where you guys are going in the future give me one second guys okay then we have you guys here cancer this is where you at yeah i had to pause because of my cancer son yeah uh <laughs> y'all interruptions and this is how the world looks at you guys this is your hopes and fears and here is your outcome okay so <sighs> emotional loss yeah like like i said you with temptation with the devil card so you could definitely be dealing with a capricorn here but people like that's that energy of that friend with the shoes or the people trying to tell you what not to do because they can't go with you and they can't do it too um and you guys pre-shuffle you guys had um Taurus, Libra energy pop up, Gemini energy pop up. Some of you guys could be Gemini Cancer Cuspers, if you know or believe in that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, there, because you kind of got to look at Gemini's, theirs is about, you know, doing change and stuff of that nature. You guys pre-shuffle had a lot of their cards that, you know, wanted to fall out. So this is definitely, though, somebody who is feeling some kind of way because you are not entertaining the bull. You're focused on your goals. You know what it is that you need to do. This is that hate and friend that um, the people who are uncomfortable with your change, you know, that's these folks. The rebel starts us off with, have you eaten? You're acting like a big ass baby. And that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a sassy people looking at you like you bougie type or whatever. Stuck up, you know, uh, what is what's going on with cancer? Why are they acting like this all of a sudden? But it's is that you You found your purpose. You realized you didn't have to be stagnant, stuck in whatever tempting type of energy of the past. These folks who are sad that you have removed yourself because you realized your purpose here. Okay, yeah, allow that shit to come to you. You did. That's what I'm saying. A lot of you guys became enlightened, you know, especially around, like with your birthday. Like you decided to make these changes and now the abundance is reaping in and there are people who are like butthurt because you're not vibing low with them. These people look at you like you're being very prideful and egotistical and just like snobbish, like you're better than them. But it's not that. It's just that you have found your purpose. Okay. Yeah. Under the deck. Here you are. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Scorpio energy, but Cancer Scorpio Pisces, you've loved and nurtured on yourself and you, you've grown, you've grown, they haven't and they're butthurt, main energy for the truth, judgment, karmic judgment, judgment, closing out of cycles, judgment, balancing the scales of life, knowing your purpose here, okay, you know the truth, the truth and clarity is about to be spread on everyone else. Yeah, you've been like, she had to come back out. This is the truth. You are loving and nurturing of yourself. You are caring of yourself. That, that's just what that is. People are having a hard time dealing and accepting that right now. Here they are, them upset and disappointed people. Look at that, because you walked away. I have to show you this, because you walked away. They're upset that you no longer engage and entertain this BS anymore. What you know about this? You followed your intuition. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. Look at you guys just showing up all up in your elements. Your birthday did you justice. Your... <laughs> As I say that, it's popping. Look at that. You took your time. You got stable. You got your money right. 
You said this was your year. Why not? We've been chilling. What else should we have been doing other than getting ourselves together with the stagnant energy in the world, in the universe? You got stable. This is technically the king in this deck, so king of pentacles, Taurus energy, but could be Virgo or a Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn. But you got stable. You followed your intuition, went towards your money, went towards the truth, the clarity, the things that you knew was going to keep you stable. You were honest with yourself. You seen the truth in all situations, what you needed to cut out. The truth. Love it on yourself. That's what you know. You followed your intuition and took your time to love on yourself. Like, that's, that was it. You knew that you knew you had to see more value in you. You placed more value on yourself. What the universe wants you to know? Keep moving. They doing they showing that, look, I feel like some of you guys were in very low places. Some of these folks had you in very low places, low vibe and energy, like damn near homeless, jobless, you know, all of that. And the universe is showing you, look, you don't pick yourself back up. Keep moving. Keep it moving. People are going to come sh trying to shoot into your life like rock comets, rockets, comets in the sky. Like try to land. Let, no. Let them crash into these mountains and you keep moving. Ignore that. Beep. Okay. You need to keep pushing forward. And you beautiful. Your breast is sexy. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to go get a boob job. Somebody could have got a boob job. That's probably what it is. So, so whoever got something done to these, people upset at you. Mm -hmm. You ain't got them done, huh? People are upset at you. You know you look good. That friend who couldn't afford the boob job with you, y'all was supposed to do it together, but they ain't save up their money like you saved up your money. Now they upset and they want to make you feel bad. Okay. Okay. No. You know. You know already. Just keep it moving. You know your purpose. You know why you're here. You know you worked hard to get what it is that you got. Okay. Don't let nobody make you feel bad about that. Universe is showing you that you have the capability of creating your destiny, of being able to move forward here. Okay. Move away from those bonds of connections. Also, you, you have the ability to create better connections, better loving situations in your life. Okay? Yeah, we're going to stick with the first. Move away from them deceptive bullshits. <laughs> but you can also escape. Still be able to escape to better connections. Either way, this is about you being able to move forward to better connections because you know the folks around you is the devil. Look at this. Moving on. It's, you're moving on. It's time to move on. You got to. How we get here? How we get here, Cancer? Some third-party energy. Could have been a relationship. Could have been caught up in some third-party drama. It's time for you to get away from this relationship. Because you know about the third party. You follow your intuition. This could be somebody that you were married to. Had a real stable commitment with. Somebody you could have had children with. But now you know that there is something else. Something or someone else. That is in the midst of what you got going on. And I feel like because you realize you deserve better. And you're moving on. And moving forward. And taking care of yourself. This masculine energy could be upset, could be the one that's upset if you're dealing with a Capricorn male. He could be very upset because you know the truth and you're moving on away from the relationship. Yeah. And this is what this third party has propelled you to move forward here. You receive communication about this, which gave you that clarity. And you, you knew that it was time to move forward on your relationship, on the bond that you had. It's time for something new. Yep. A decision that you knew you, need, you knew with this high priestess here that you, you knew you had to move forward here. 
You knew you had to. You had no choice. All is fire energy. What is this? Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Just with all your might, with all your desire, all your heart, you had to move forward. Didn't matter. You knew your value. The truth of the matter came down to you becoming the Queen of Cups, knowing your worth, nurturing yourself, loving yourself. Knowing what it is that you desire. Where we going, Cancer? Destiny. I just said this word to you guys. Okay? We just going to clarify this out. This, this is about a major... This, it's kind of like a major thing. You know, we got 50-50 for the um, major arcana out here. But, yeah, you know the action that you need to take is a part of your destiny. Thank you, darling. But you know that the action that you're taking is a part of your destiny here. Everything, you know that there's new to come. You know that what you seeking the changes in your life, that this abundance, this new abundance is coming. It's part of your destiny. You know this. The truth was revealed to you while you was nurturing and loving on yourself. Yeah, about some confusing bullshit. That you were working with in a relationship here. This is Ten of Cups that's peeking out, okay? But you you know it. You knew about this third party or whatever this energy was. Something that was taking away from you and yours. Away from a connection of bond that you already had. And you begin to change. This person doesn't like the fact that you don't want to be caught up in this. Maybe you were the side, and I hate to go there, Cancer. Maybe you could have been the side, right? And you're just like, you know, I don't want to do this third party shit no more. I deserve better. I deserve to have my own relationship here, okay? And this person is upset that you don't want to be down with the get down. You're moving on. You know your purpose in life. You can have your own abundance. You, you don't have to share. Well, who, why are we sharing? Where you at right now, Cancer? Harmony. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Gemini. You could have been a cusper, Gemini, Cancer, cuss. As I said, check out that reading. But right now, you're trying to find harmony in your life, find balance in your life. You're making decisions for yourself and the correct decisions, decisions that bring you in alignment with your true heart space here, with your true soulmate, your true life partner. Okay? Again, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you are focused on bringing balance to yourself, loving yourself here. Yes, doing what is best, what is right for you. Okay, you are seeking marriage. You are seeking of the most high approval here. Yeah, like you want something solid, a real commitment. This is what you're looking for. You're not, you don't want to deal with third party type of energy anymore. You don't want to be, yeah, you don't want to deal with the lies and the deception anymore. This third party energy you want to cut this out and let this go. You want something for yourself that will make you happy, that will bring you the true happiness you want. I feel like somebody does have a hard time wanting to let you go. They're a little obsessed with you. It's something that you give them. Like they know that you are abundant. They know that you have, you know, all these like wonderful things flowing into your life. And it's like this person, this energy does not want to miss out on what it is that you are about to obtain in your life, okay? The way the world sees you is obstacles and challenges. Five of Wands, very conflicted, could be causing conflicts. People could be seeing you as being the conflicted one by not engaging, you know, with whatever this temptation is, okay? That's two fives, again, because you change. You're not dealing with that type of energy, with that mess anymore, okay? But that's how people are viewing and seeing you. Like, or that, you know, the fact that you have this temptation in the background that, you know, yeah, you have these obstacles that you need to work out and work against in order to get to your own goal here. Like, people see you struggling here with this dynamic. Is, yeah, like people do see you struggling. People feel that you deserve to be happy, that you deserve this happiness that you seek. Um, 
but everybody else can see it and it's 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 a crazy thing it's like as you have begun to evolve more into your own cancer and the world sees you they see how this that weight here is holding you back they can see that it's like this person pulls a lot of guilt tripping and things of that nature hopes and fears is crown chakra you know continuing to use your intuition um use your highest judgment stay in your high vibes things of that nature <laughs> let's just clarify Because this can go, yeah, it's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you won't, because we got a couple out here. We got the king and the queen of pinnacles. So, okay. Cancer. Yeah, because you're worried here. There's amount of stress. We got two nines. This is something on a self journey of yourself. Who is this peak in the magician? That is, I'm feeling more of manipulation here. So, you know that you are the side piece, Cancer. We got two queens out here and one king. Okay, before we even get to your outcome. Because there's uh, a good amount of worry. Somebody is staying up at night stressed out and worried about this situation. So, I'm feeling like there's a king of pentacles here, okay? Could be a Capricorn or this could just be a married man. I feel like you found out this man is married here, okay? And um, you could have been the side piece here. Or the truth could be coming out about a side piece, a queen of cups, someone that this king of pentacles could be, could have children with here. That's causing some disruption here, some upset here. I feel that um, now, if you are the side, because this is more of what I'm saying, because I feel the desires of you, Cancer, wanting your own relationship of you and someone else here. This is water energy. This is your energy here. So we could simply have the King of Cups up here and that could have been your counterpart and the Queen of this could have still been a mother and energy who could have been on the side. That's all I'm saying, Cancer. Take it how it resonates, but this is how we flowing with it. If you are the side, I feel like, you know, the communication, you could have communicated out to someone about, you know, look, I know you're married, whatever, whatever, whatever. I feel the hope and fear in the situation is that the wife don't find out even though it's somebody knows that the husband is like, or it's like somebody knows the husband is out there and it's hope and fear that the wife doesn't, you know, say anything. Somebody is really worried about what the wife might say, or, you know, it could just be, you know, another Taurus Virgo Capricorn here, mostly Virgo. But with that crown chakra is, that intuition kick again or being enlightened or, you know, what somebody knows, wondering what somebody knows. Somebody is worried about what somebody knows here. And I feel the truth is going to possibly come out about this Queen of Cups, which could be you, Cancer. Truth could be coming out about you and being involved in some sort of third party. Maybe you could have approached this King of Pentacles like, hey, I just want you. Why can't we just do this? And there could be some threats being thrown out. Well, I'm going to just tell your wife. How about that? And he could be getting ready to just like cut you off. And everybody's like, look, why do you keep trying to interject and deal with this man who is married? Like you are causing obstacles in your life by trying to make this work. What if his wife finds out? And now you're stressed and worried about if the wife finds out. Look here, cancer, because I really feel like this is what it's about. Honest, this man's not leaving his wife. She, nobody came up in reverse. He's not leaving her. Okay, that's some truth I need to tell you. This emotional loss could be you not being able to engage with this man anymore. This is the devil, darling. Okay, you are dancing with the devil. Understand the purpose of this relationship here was so that you could love yourself more. 
um, through loving yourself and seeing this truth here, allowing karmic justice, destiny, truth and destiny, that's karmic justice, allowing for that to play out and happen will bring you this harmony that you want. Because right now, this is lies in someone's marriage, okay? This is lies in someone's marriage. You're trying to be harmonious, but somebody's being deceptive in their marriage, and it is this king of pentacles here. You're not as... Unless you are married to him, and you could be finding out that there's lies in your marriage here because he's messing with some queen of cups energy or child's mother or whatever then that's what it is but take it how it resonates let's get you guys outcome let's get this wrapped up but you guys got the strength okay whatever however you fall in this in this situation in this energy because i just feel like there either way there's an energy of just something that wants to like blow up because it's not working out you got to understand at the end of the day that whatever is being taken away from you or wherever you are evolving from is for a, a higher purpose for yourself okay you need to allow these changes to happen here you have the spiritual strength you are being protected here if you don't think you have the fight in you you do have the fight left okay because with that strength you add that ace of wands you can drop down these burdens you know, the burdens that was around and evolved, involved in, I believe we've seen the burdens in the harmonious approach, possibly. But either way, you can drop all the burdens of having side energy, being on the side, being tempted by things that, you know, don't serve your higher purpose. Because you're moving forward towards something that is very abundant in your life, okay? It's part of your destiny here to have this, but it's a matter of how you are going to move and shake when it comes to this, okay? Where you fall in those storylines and how you want to clear out your energy, your karma here, okay? Yeah, a decision, something that you need to make here. That's two and a nine. That makes us 10 to the one. You need to put down all the burdens so that you can have this ace of wands here in your life, okay? Okay. First card out, yeah, move forward, move forward, move forward towards your victory. You have the strength to move towards this victory. That seven wands that's coming towards you here, the strength, the ability to stand up for yourself. That's what I'm saying. If you're on the side, stand up for yourself. Demand more for yourself. Understand that you can't have your own relationship. You don't have to be on the side, okay? I just had to get that out. That was just very strong and heavy. And it's like somebody's upset that they're not able to mess with a married man anymore come on we're not gonna do that and feel that way so cancer let's get out your final message you think someone is lying they are okay i'm telling you this is definitely somebody who might be messing with a married man he's not leaving his wife and if you wonder if she knows about you she she does so not for nothing, that eight of wands on that three of cups could be her com coming in to communicate to some of you guys to let you know, like I know about you. OK, so this is the power thing here. I'm going to give you what it says in the back. It says figure shit out on your own here. But I feel like you guys. You need to open your eyes and use your intuition and see the truth and clarity in this man. Know and see that he he's not leaving his wife because you are here for a reason. Don't fuck it up, okay? Purpose. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. This is not your connection, but it is coming, okay? This is aligning you. If you can do the right thing, it will align you towards this abundance, all right? So, Cancer, happy belated. Hope 2020 goes, you know, whew, this looks rough, but um, that was your message. Until the next one, you guys know what to do. Peace out.